My name is Fiona, Fiona Masugu. I uh, am a director for a company called Creative CFO in Cape Town, based in South Africa. I decided to study SEMA. Um, I think it was more of a personal journey or a personal alignment with what I really wanted to do in life and what I was passionate about. Um, it's, it was such an interesting journey for me having to find the company I actually am a part of right now because it embodied so much of what SEMA is all about. Um, but it was just when I was at Varsity, um, there was a course I did in cost management. It really nailed it for me because I love solving problems for businesses. And it gave that perspective for me. And I looked out for professional bodies that actually focused on a lot of management and uh, that kind of cost accounting background. And SEMA was the one that I found really matched what I really wanted to solve for companies. That's why I went to study SEMA. Being a CGMA um, has brought a lot of recognition to my profession. Um, I think a lot of the time when you network with clients and work with business owners, they get comfort knowing that you're part of some standard or body. Um, but I think what elevated CGMA, for instance, was really just knowing that I could unpack certain um, everyday decisions with business owners um, because they didn't just want a, a traditional accountant. They just didn't want someone to just crunch numbers. They wanted to engage with someone who could be strategic, walk through the journey with them and kind of relate to what their problems were. And this is exactly what the CGMA designation gave to me. It gave that connection for me to work with business owners and even the content and uh, the courses we did going through the CGMA professional designation just equipped me for that. The CGMA designation helped me my career. Um, I think as part of uh, going through the journey of uh, the CGMA designation, you go through a lot of some studies and uh, that required a lot of discipline, um, dedication and just, you know, walking the journey to the end. Um, that kind of really molds you to go through like um, small business ent enterprises. I work in an environment where I work with startups, uh, new businesses, and it, it really requires a lot of resilience. And I think the designation just builds that. Uh, it builds you up to be resilient, uh, to work with people and help them to be resilient. Um, also outside of that, I think um, it also was very practical. Um, the CGMA designation, as I went through uh, the different levels, there were examples and case studies we went through that I think really shaped and molded my thinking around the practical elements or the practical strategic elements that we can apply in businesses. So I think it really elevated me from just being um, a technical expert to someone who walked a journey with a business owner and allowed themselves to actually help them solve the problems that they faced and they challenged. Working at uh, Creative CFO, I really actually was on a different path. I was on like financial management. I knew I had a passion for, for assisting business owners. I knew I had a passion to help business owners solve their immediate problems. I knew I wanted to work in an SME space. But um, when I got into working at Creative CFO, um, it allowed me actually to experiment. You know, the things that I learned through the CGMA designation and the educational background coming from there um, left me with an innovative mind space. You know, it, it encouraged me to actually want to apply the theory that I learned uh, in practical scenarios. So because of that, um, the only way I could develop that was keep elevating the, the roles I played within the client work, within the business itself. Um, I quickly moved in um, to not just managing a, a client portfolio. I started to manage like a team, a small team of, of people, uh, about six to eight people. And then from there, um, you know, you keep wanting to apply different uh, parts of the educational background from the CGMA designation so much that I found myself in management and it kept on going, developing that, uh, that skills. And I found even after getting the designation, I always went back to refer to it. 
And I got to a point where I found it very valuable now, even within the business, that I wanted to impart that knowledge to others coming up. Um, that I uh, motivated to be part of a mentorship program at our office, which was really encouraging um, because I felt it really uh, spoke to exactly the journey and the business journey that we were involved in or are involved in. Mm-hmm.